as we all know, the 3D games of any franchise are always the most popular. This is the case with Super Mario, Mario Kart, and also The Legend of Zelda. However, the 2D titles can still be a hit, and people have fond memories of them, especially the older ones. Back during the 80s and 90s, Nintendo released loads of these games, and almost all of them were a smash hit. But according to some people on the internet, there is one game that was supposed to be released during this era that never came out. A game that would fill a gap in both the story of the franchise franchise and compatibility with other Zelda titles. It was going to be a Zelda title that would change everything, but in the end, we never got it. Well, that's what people claim at least. So what happened with this game? Why was it never released? What is it even about? And is this title even real and not just a rumor? Well, let's find out. But first, introducing my new store, Wiley.gg, the place to buy your new games and get your hands on eShop cards for Nintendo as well as Xbox. And don't forget, use code Wiley at checkout to save 10%. Now let's continue. When I was younger, I played a lot of games on my Game Boy. It was the first console I owned, and as a kid, I loved it. However, when Nintendo was developing games for this console, they had a hard time in the beginning. The console wasn't very strong after all, and so they had to make special games for it that would work. So you could see that during that time, that 2D games were the way to go for Nintendo, with Super Mario and Zelda going that route. And thanks to this, the Oracle series was born, which was a bit of a spin-off franchise of Zelda games that was made by Capcom and Nintendo. Now they ended up releasing two games, Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages, and both of them are similar in gameplay, but have unique features of their own. The two titles have parallel plot lines and can be played independently, but they can also be linked together to form a larger story. In general, the idea behind it was very interesting. And that's because Capcom actually focuses on the story first, and only later on they will think about gameplay. Now these games were quite popular and people liked them for many reasons. But a couple of years after they had been released, it all started. In 2008, rumors started to surface of a new game that was supposed to be part of this series known as Oracle of Hours. And so, pictures were leaked of maps and dungeons that were going to be in the game originally. They were extensive, covered the entire overworld map, were quite detailed, and even had names attached to them, like the Hourglass Pyramid and Sundial Shrine being some of the best looking. But there were also some among them that seemed seemed odd, like the Clock Tower, which is actually a location that was also seen in The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Why would this be in the game? Nintendo would never reuse something like that. Sure, the Ocarina, Master Sword and Sages are a common thing to see in a Zelda title, but locations like this one rarely make a return. And so people started to doubt that this was even real, because while the leaked images looked amazing, there was something wrong with all of this. Which turned out to be correct, because a person named John Luong of VGMaps.com was the person who created this elaborate hoax. He mapped out and designed all the images that were leaked, and only later on he revealed that it was an elaborate April Fool's joke. As you can imagine, a lot of people were disappointed. They thought that originally there was going to be another Oracle game, but it wasn't meant to be. As you can imagine, a lot of people were fascinated by this. But then their hopes and dreams were shattered. Well, that's what some people assumed. Because if you actually look into all of this, you will soon figure out that Nintendo was planning to release another Oracle game. Originally, Shigeru Miyamoto came up with the idea of the Triforce series, where each title was to refer to a piece of the Triforce, and it would revolve around the pivotal character according to the chapter. Din for the chapter of power, Nehru for wisdom, and Feyror for courage. However, while the chapter of power and wisdom were finished, and also embodied them well with one focusing on combat and the other puzzles, we never got the third game, and it was known as The Legend of Zelda Mystical Seed of Courage, which was going to be the final piece of the puzzle. The game would have featured Feyror as its oracle, 
and was originally set to be centered around time travel and puzzles concerning the time of day. So in a way, it would have reminded most people of Majora's Mask, which was already out by then. In general, the puzzles would all focus on time, and some couldn't be solved outside of a specific time of the day. But in the end, developers abandoned this theme, and after the cancellation of the Mystical Seed of Courage in July 2000, Oracle of Ages adopted its time travel theme. And sadly enough, neither screenshots of this game nor Oracle of Ages before its massive storyline change are known to exist. But there is some info on the story of The Legend of Zelda The Mystical Seed of Courage, because they did work on it a lot. It starts off with Princess Zelda, who is responsible for managing the Four Seasons of the Land of Hyrule, and the Triforce of Power has been kidnapped by Ganon. At that point, the brave hero Link learns of this and sets out to save the princess. However, Ganon learns of Link's quest and splits the Triforce into eight pieces, scattering them throughout Hyrule. In addition, the Rod of Four Seasons, along with its hiding place in Hyrule Castle, have flown off to another dimension. As a result of this calamity, Hyrule's Four Seasons are thrown into chaos, and the Order of the Seasons becomes a complete mess. And so, in order to save Princess Zelda and find the Rod of the Four Seasons, our hero Link must travel back and forth between Hyrule and this other dimension, while receiving help from the spirits residing in the Tree of Mystery, and also the strange Ura tribe found in this other dimension. That's the basic idea they had for this game. And as you can clearly see, certain elements of this game were put in the other two Oracle titles that were actually released. But why did they actually cancel it? What went wrong with their grand plan? Well, by the looks of it, the thing that went wrong was the fact that they wanted to create something massive like this. Because in the end, it was scrapped due to problems with the debugging process. Specifically, issues with how all three games interacted with each other. So, they did get surprisingly far in this title, but all that is left of it is the general idea of its story. And the thing that made developing this game impossible for Nintendo and Capcom was their desire to create a game with a complex story that can connect two other titles. As you can imagine, making this work for a total of two games is a lot easier than three, especially if you want to make sure that there isn't some specific order. And so, sadly enough, it was cut down to a total of two games instead of three. And so we, as Nintendo fans, lost the 2D Zelda title which inspired some to create rumors surrounding it, like I mentioned at the very beginning of this video. But sadly enough, regardless of what we do, it will never be released by Nintendo or Capcom. However, this isn't the only rumor floating around on the internet, because some also claim that you can play as Master Hand in Super Smash Bros. Melee, and that you can actually unlock Yoshi in Super Mario 64. So be sure to check out the videos I made on those by clicking on the screen right now, or in the upper right corner. Thank you all so much for coming, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like, subscribe, bell button, the whole nine yards, and let me know what else you want to see. Yes? Alright. Have a good day at school, or, or college, or work. Bye-bye! Bye! Yes, bye-bye! Bye! -bye. bye, -bye. bye.